Hey, hey, everybody. I'm going to do a regular acrylic pour today. Surprise! I haven't done any in quite a while. They're just regular acrylic pours, so I thought it was about time to do one. I had bought the um, sink handle that I saw Tammy Anderson use on another pour on her channel. And I love everything she does, but um, I had to go and find that sink handle. So it's in my Amazon link. And I loved it because it had so many channels that the paint could flow through. And I wanted to try to get a really nice bloom from this as far as just a floral type thing. So I'm going to try it again today. I did it in another video, but it was on a really small piece and I didn't, you know, I didn't have the room. I kind of scrunched it in. So, okay. The uh, recipe I'm going with today is a little different from my typical recipe, which is usually one-to-one -one paint to flow troll. Today I'm doing one part paint and two or three parts flow troll. Uh, so I'm stretching the paint and uh, making it a little bit thicker and trying not to add any water to it because with two paints I've always done one to one ratio and then added water. Well I didn't want to add water because I want to take these paints when I'm done and do another video trying a new recipe for the cell activator in that video and I didn't want to have any water in my paints because I didn't want to affect the bloom. So I've mixed up different brands of paint which are all different thicknesses and I've added some sparkle to all of them because I wanted them to shimmer. My base coat is going to be regular Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White which is not fluid art. It's thick acrylic white paint. You still have to add your one part flow trowel or your Liquitex pouring medium or whatever you use glue. I use flow trowel. So I wanted to show you the gallon version and then I've got my little messy one that's a quart. I get these at Lowe's or Home Depot and so my white is one to one ratio with the little water added to that and that's just for my base on my regular uh, acrylic pour that I'm doing today but the ratio with these paints is two to three parts flow trial to one part paint and very quickly I use Master's Touch which is Hobby Lobby Lake Blue, Master's Touch Ultramarine, Liquitex Basics Prism Violet, one of my favorite colors. This is from Walmart Dollar Rowney. It's Crimson Red. That's a good quality from Walmart. Uh, Artist Loft Deep Yellow. And I wanted to show you what can happen when you, your paint sits too long um, mixing it for fluid art. It might still paint on a canvas with the you know, traditional brushes, but I wanted you to see this kind of cottage cheesy look. It's lumpy. I have had it sitting with the flow trough for quite a while. And um, what happens when it's lumpy like that is you've got to let it sit and really mix in with that flow trowel binder and um, and sometimes it's still going to leave you some lumps. I was going to make more paint because this is so lumpy. I wanted to show it to you though. To me it's not worth risking my quality of my painting. So I'm going to dump this and mix some more orange for you really quick and show you how I get the sparkle added to it if it's not if I don't have a metallic color that is in the color family I want and it's super easy I'll be right back these are also little silicone cups that are in my Amazon link they're great for um, if your paint dries in it you can just pull it out peel it out so um, and they're flexible you can bend them squeeze the tips of them so I'm, these are, I don't know, probably three ounces and so I put maybe an ounce of paint and then this is Artist Loft Iridescent Medium from Michaels. 
and I'm just putting a squirt so you can kind of see there's paint and then less of the iridescent medium you just need a little squirt and what happens is that will make any color shimmer and it does not affect the vibrancy of the color so that one is Liquitex Basics Cad Orange Hue so now I'm going to add my the rest of my cup up full of Floetrol because I'm not adding water and I'm basically going to do kind of like you would do a sink strainer pour or over a bottle bottom instead of uh, doing a dirty pour I'm going to separate it out into colors so that's why I'm doing a rainbow effect I love the rainbow colors you know me so I'm just going to mix this up really really quick I always scrape off your stick to get any thick paint off of that scrape the sides of whatever you're mixing in to get anything away from the edges really get it mixed in there really good I'm trying not to put the mixing part on my videos because it takes up so much time of the video but I just wanted to show you that lumpy paint and how I mix paint and how I add iridescent medium into the color you can add it to any brand of paint and it works great got a 12 inch canvas push pins in the bottom I'm going to put my gloves on and I'm almost finished with these gloves. I have not liked these for some reason and I've got a box of black gloves. I don't know, you know, Wiggles Art wears black gloves and he's probably the most successful YouTuber on in the YouTube in the acrylic pouring world. I think he's got the most subscribers and I think it's maybe because he wears black gloves. I don't know. What do y'all think? <laughs> but I have a box of black gloves. So it might make me famous. Who knows? LOL. So again, really quick. This is regular white and Floetrol one-to-one -one with water added for my base. My colors, I chose not to add any water, so I added more flow trial to get it to the right consistency to where they're all the same consistency. And the reason I did that is because I want to do a future video using those colors, and I did not want any water in the mixture. And um, I'm not adding silicone. I don't want cells. I think that's about center. Sometimes when you look at the camera, it looks a little funny, but it really does look centered from this vantage point I am gonna pop any bubbles So I'm letting the paint flow back down and it did not work as far as staying even. It's kind of zigzaggy all over the place. So I'm a little disappointed, but I'm going to just have some fun with it. So lifting the sink handle off. I'm going to drag it in and I'm wiping between each time I use the skewer. You don't want to dirty up the color you're putting your skewer into. So the middle's, you know, fairly floral, but the rest is... So, I think I'm going to spin it a little bit and see what happens. I forgot to put white between my red, orange, and yellow, so no worries. Make sure your 
canvas is centered when you're spinning. <laughs> that went down my leg. Okay, so it stretched it out super far. So I'm just gonna stretch it myself. And move this out of the way. Sometimes when you haven't done pours in a while, you kind of lose your confidence on uh, doing them. You kinda, it's like you have to kind of start from scratch again and build your confidence back up. Let's just play a little bit. Just dragging my finger through it because the paint's thick enough. Just let off the gas when you get towards the center. So it's pretty, but it was not what I envisioned, but that's okay, because that's the way fluid acrylic art is, right? It just is always like a box of chocolates it's going to be a surprise sometimes unless you read the label and I'm off I'm off frame here um, but I'm going to turn it around so you can see it the way I'd like to see it which is this way which kind of looks like a could be some turkey feathers it could be bird feathers there might be a future bird body at the bottom in the, the works for this one um, so, don't want to do anything else. Just always wipe your skewer when you're driving. So since I kind of see feathers, I'm just accentuating that possibility. To so try to prevent the picture from changing too much is to also go under the canvas with your finger and get those drips. It'll continue to kind of drip down while it's drying. But this kind of helps with the gravity issues a little bit more. So there it is. I'm gonna do it one more time on a little bit smaller canvas. I'm going to do it on a dry canvas to see if it does anything differently and use a little less paint. So instead of trying to keep it perfect, let's just go a little crazy. Because I'm really bad about wanting things to be symmetrical and I gotta quit doing that all the time. 
sometimes maybe so I'm just gonna shift it a little bit here and it'll probably be that the yellow is predominant because it's in the middle so I could you know just So I've got blue, turquoise, and white off camera, but I'm just taking a little bit of each on my stick. So I'm going to leave this one as is. a little splash of something in the middle so I still like it it's different than I expected but I like it so I hope you enjoyed it if you did please give me a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel check out all the links below in the bottom right corner click on the bell to get notifications all the links below the video that have my Amazon link my Facebook group and that kind of thing come join me and I will see you on the next video. I also want to give a huge shout out to Cheryl who gave a very generous donation to my PayPal towards supplies and I greatly, greatly appreciate that. That is always a wonderful blessing for someone to do that. So thanks again and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.